Hello and welcome to this video on GrabCAD Print Pro, Optimizing Builds. My name is Robert French and I'm a 3D printing applications engineer with Go Engineer. GrabCAD Print Pro is a paid upgrade version of GrabCAD Print and it gives the user new tools to optimize their build trays for the H350 SAF and FDM technology. These new tools include creating 3D arrays to tightly nest parts. We can pattern into the X, Y, and Z axes to really get the most amount of parts on our build trays and make sure we're ready for a long run print. We can place parts with XYZ coordinates which really helps optimize the H350 so we're placing parts sufficiently far away enough from each other to not bleed over heat and warp different parts on the build tray. We'll also see the improved estimates tool which will give us material and support usage per part without having to place each part individually on a build tray to get that information. Let's jump into the software and see some of these tools in action. Here in GrabCAD Print Pro, we already see one instance of the part clip placed on our build tray. Now, if we wanna fully load this build tray and really optimize our use of our print volume, we can use the 3D Array tool. The options within, such as copies, spacing, and direction, allow us to quickly create a array of parts that once again will fully utilize our build volume. Another enhancement inside of GrabCAD Print Pro is the XYZ position tool. In normal GrabCAD Print, we're simply clicking and dragging and placing our parts by eye. But now we can identify an origin on the part, such as front left, back right, or center, and then use specific XYZ coordinates to locate it. This is especially important on the H350 technology where we want to ensure there's adequate spacing between parts so that the heat used during the process of curing the parts doesn't affect neighboring parts surrounding it. With these new enhancements to GrabCAD Print Pro, I can have parts that are nested very closely to one another and cause issues. We can see these two parts are located so close that their support rafts are gonna conflict with one another. But if I highlight both parts, right click, I can choose to treat them as an assembly. Now I'll have one continuous support raft underneath both parts and I have a successful build tray. Now these are two different versions of the clip and I'm curious what the support and material usage is on each of them. In previous versions or in GrabCAD Print Standard, I'd have to place each part individually onto a build tray to get those values but the new improved estimation tool allows me to see what the material and support requirements are for each individual part all on one build tray. That covers the new tools in GrabCAD Print Pro that are geared toward optimizing your build tray. Now there's plenty of other new enhancements that you get with GrabCAD Print Pro and we'll cover those in other videos. My name is Robert French. Thanks for watching.